everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me so i wanted to do this like super beachy summery look but i got a little carried away with the eyes and so this is more like a nighttime summer look so i did the hair the super beachy hair which i'm loving and then yeah this makeup i had fun with my face <laughs> because it's been a while since i i've done like a full face and i'm also showing you my outfit it's like a very chit chatty get video um i had so much fun doing it and so i hope you will have fun watching it definitely grab a snack grab some popcorn and something i don't know and um yeah if you want to see how i created this look keep on watching <laughs> So today I'm gonna do a chit chat and get ready with me, which I haven't done in one in so long. I feel like I don't even know how to start this. So um, yeah, but right now I'm just brushing my hair. I do have my extensions in right now. And honestly, my hair is just like a hot mess, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my hair today. Okay, so I wanna do some really beachy waves today. I really want this look to be very summery. So I'm actually going to be using this curling iron right here. It's like a iron with three barrels so it creates like some really nice waves. Um, now you can actually get this on CNZ Imports which is my parents online boutique and if you want to get it you can use Chloe 20 for 20% 20 off on this um, and also you get free international shipping which is pretty amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna part my hair. Now, I've been brushing my hair so much more recently, which I used to never brush my hair, but when you brush your hair, you can bring like the oil from your roots down to your ends. Um, now, my hair doesn't really get oily, but you know, I'm hoping for the best. Now, I already applied my heat protectant on my wet hair. Okay, so I'm gonna take like this much of hair. I'm just gonna clip it like that. Oh my gosh, my curling iron is not even on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for it to get hot. It heats up pretty quickly, which is great. Okay, so let's start over. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing a piece of hair. And this is the wave that you get. I really like it. It's super cute, super summery and beachy. Now, I also tried this before on my short hair. And at first, I didn't think it would work that well because, I mean, this is such like a thick barrel. But as long as your hair is, I mean, at least this long, it's going to work. So, And I like you don't even have to do any twists or turns. It's just so easy. Yeah, and I'm going to leave just a little bit at the end, not curled. That way, it looks a bit more natural-ish looking. I am through trying to hold us together. I just want it to stop. Want it to stop. Okay, so this is one side done. Look how pretty it looks. And it makes the hair look so shiny. I don't know why. Like, it just... It makes your curls look shiny. I'm gonna spray some texturizing spray. So this is from Redken. It's the Windblown. I've had this for so long. And it works really well. Personally, I prefer texturizing spray over hairspray because it's not as crunchy, but it gives you more. Oh, I'm almost done. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough for this whole tutorial. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the same process for this side. Can't you see that we drifting apart? I am through trying to hold us want it to stop want it to stop no okay and then this side is done too so i'm gonna use a spray again and the best part is i'm all getting ready right now it's like friday night it's 6 18 and um i'm actually not even going out i'm just gonna go to the gym tonight <laughs> so i'm getting all ready but i'm gonna take it off Okay, so I'm just going to add the spray at the end because as I said, I don't know how much more I have left in the bottle. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Now, I feel like this look today is either going to look super beachy or very country-esque with this dress, which I love this dress. But, <laughs> you know, it could look a little country real quick, real quick. I really want to get tape and extensions. I just feel like it's going to make my life so much easier. 
and I've been wanting to get some for a while but I knew I didn't really want to get them in the summertime just because especially since I started working out I just can't imagine myself with hair like it, it's a lot of hair you know to wear like out in the heat in the summer heat and while working out so I just didn't really see myself doing that but I mean August is pretty much like fall you know and August is here very soon and so I feel like in August I would like to get some tape extensions for the fall I feel like it's gonna be way more wearable in the fall um so yeah leave me your favorite brands down below um i've been looking at bombay hair heard some really great things about them uh the extensions i'm wearing right now are from resistible me which i really like them but i'm just looking at tape ins right now which they do offer tape ins but the thing i like with bombay hair is they have them like some of them have like roots like already colored roots roots and i feel like that would make my life a bit easier like i wouldn't have to do the roots myself like dye the the roots myself and so yeah i'm still looking do i curl this yeah why not just a little bit to blend i think i'm just gonna start the curls like right here can't you see that we are drifting apart oh my gosh i am feeling this here look at that Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna spray. Okay, I really like the end result. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It makes the hair look so big, which I love. Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly do the side. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, so... <laughs> Oh my gosh this is so cute and i feel like you know i have super short pieces but you don't even see it like it blends really really well i can take it anymore i don't want to remember just want to let it all go waiting for a new day when i will feel no pain okay i'm done i'm just gonna look and see if i missed any any spots Whew. now i'm freaking hot <laughs> okay i think i did pretty well i feel like this is like the no makeup makeup look of hair you know it's like maybe this is natural maybe i went swimming in the ocean or maybe I just spent 30 minutes doing my hair i'm just gonna like fluff my bangs a little bit like that especially like my hair is kind of freshly washed and so I just want to get more more volume more texture at my roots okay so it's gonna look a little crazy for now but you know what this is the hair oh my gosh I really really like it okay I don't know if I'm gonna keep it to this side but for now let's clip it so I'm just gonna go like this Clip it so it gets a bit of volume at the top. Yeah, this is the hair. I will for sure leave this curling iron down below. And don't forget, you can get 20% off with Chloe 20. And you get free shipping too, which is great. So recently, like I broke my camera, like my big DSLR camera, which I like to film like my makeup tutorials and stuff. So I'm just going to prime using the YSL. This is the Touche Clot Blur Primer. Look at that fancy schmancy packaging um so yeah i broke my like nicer camera this is my canon g7x which is also broken um the screen like the flip up screen is completely broken like i'm holding everything with a hair tie so yeah and then i have like three cameras my other one is a sony a5000 which i bought like a few years ago to vlog with but then i bought this one i kind of prefer this one but the Sony one gives like a different vibe. It's weird. It's almost like there's a filter. I don't know. But then I wanted to film with that one. But I lost this charger. Like I don't know where it went. I looked everywhere. And I don't really lose my stuff really. Um, and so I'm just like, what are the chances? I have issues with all my cameras. 
but you know it's okay <laughs> um okay now for foundation recently i haven't been doing my makeup like this summer i really haven't been doing full glam so this is the power fabric from giorgio armani look at that i just love giorgio armani their packaging is just so nice and their products are really good i use the shade 6.5 um too dark for me but hey i actually got a bit of a tan like i don't have tan on i mean a tan like i have a bit of color to my skin which is great but this is obviously too dark for me but i kind of sheer it out and i make it work but yeah i haven't been doing like full glam at all because honestly i've just been going to the gym and i've been working lots of you have been requesting like chit chat get ready with me and like updates on my dating life which i'm like girl it's been so boring recently and so yeah i haven't even been doing my makeup so that's how boring my life has been <laughs> no but i did a video um on like my starting a fitness weight loss journey and thank you so much for like the positive comments and yeah so if you haven't watched that i'll leave it below but i actually really love going to the gym and it's just i found like a new passion but i miss doing my face you know <laughs> it's not gonna be like a full glam look because honestly i'm i'm boiling in this room right now um i'm gonna use the mac studio fix i've been using the shade nw24 which is like pinky but i feel like it just covers my under eyes really really well so yeah like last year and you know the years before in the summertime i would go out i would you know have fun i mean not necessarily honestly like i didn't have more fun because i was going out and i've been having like the best time ever going to the gym on friday night honestly the gym on a friday night you always see the same people just the gym in general like people are so friendly like the people who work there like every time you walk in you have somebody greeting you saying hi okay i'm gonna use this from rimmel which I don't know if it's going to be too dark for my under eyes, but it's in the shade Sandstorm. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop from NYX, which this has a bit of color to it. And like some very, very fine shimmer. But in a gym, like I didn't know people were so friendly. Like every time you walk in, you have somebody say hi to you. And then every time you leave, you have somebody who says bye and at first when i started noticing that every time you leave there's somebody that's gonna say bye to you i started getting nervous <laughs> i started getting nervous usually i always have my earphones when i'm working out and so when i'm leaving i still have my earphones in but then i don't want people to say like bye and i have I had my earphones in and so i wouldn't hear them and then i would look through and so i started getting like <laughs> oh my gosh is it just me i started getting like nervous if nervous is the word and so now i like remove one earphone and so i make sure i say bye like that is the strangest feeling anyways um so anyways but yeah there's this cute guy that works there i know it's his job to say hi and bye but he always says bye to me update on my dating life that's that's it so, so i'm just gonna use this uh browser from nyx it which i'm sorry i used this in my last video too maybe i could use something else let me look because I already set my face, so I can't use like a cream bronzer. You know what? I'm just going to use this. It's a good bronzer. Um, it's in the shade Dark Tan. And this is like my favorite brush for bronzer. It's the MAC 130, I think. 135. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this blush from Lancome. It's such a pretty color. Can you see? It's not my good camera, so the colors, hopefully you can see the colors. Uh, but it's a really pretty coral blush. It's in the shade Make It Pop. Make It Pop. I really, really like coral blushes, and this blush is so nice. I love the mirror. And coral blushes just make your face look so healthy, you know? My, like, favorite highlight of the moment, it's been uh, for actually, like, a few months, I want to say. It's this one from YSL, which I don't know so many fingerprints. I don't know if I used this in a video, but it's like the prettiest champagne -y 
uh, highlight. It's really, really pretty. It's not like gold. And so I feel like if you have a skin tone similar to mine, it's not like gold. And so it's not going to be too like yellow looking on your skin. Because I love warm tones. But sometimes like gold highlights can be a little too much for me because I'm, I'm more pale. But it's not like a cool highlight. I don't like cool highlights so much. It's just like a pretty champagne. It reminds me of like MAC Soft and Gentle but different. You know? But I feel like MAC Soft and Gentle sometimes can also look a little cool. It just depends. So I'm also going to put that in my inner corner. So I really want to do something on my eyes because... I haven't been uh, wearing eye makeup really and so I will use this palette from Rimmel it's the magnifies blush edition palette now the Rimmel magnifies palettes are like the best drugstore eyeshadows I'm not kidding I've worked I mean I've worked a lot with Rimmel in the past like few years and I've used pretty much all of their magnifies palettes but Honestly, they're so 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 good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this one today. My cousin already played with it And so it's a bit messed up, but <laughs> I will be using it today for the first time But first I just want to do something in my crease um, So I'm gonna use this Mac palette. It was from the Spring collection, so I just want to use like these two matte shades just for my crease I would use my bronzer usually, but why not? When I do my makeup, I pretty much always keep like a towel, which my mom probably hates me for it. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I really like purple for my eyes. It's my favorite like color. Um, so I'm using a brush like that. It's from Bad Habit. And I'm just gonna apply it Oh, this is quite dark. I'm just gonna apply it. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> On like my lash line. I mean, if you watch my videos, you know, I do the same looks. I do the same looks all the time. I'm just gonna do like blend this up. Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of dark, but I'm kind of loving it. I'm not gonna want to wash this face before I get to the gym. Is it crazy that I'm like kind of excited for fall? I feel like summer just started. Now, you know, fall is my favorite season, but the thing is that after fall comes winter and I hate winter, especially where I live. It's like winter, like you can't do nothing. Like I feel like, you know, in August, I'm always like ready for fall, but then I forget that freaking winter comes after. So I'm gonna do this one right here, which is like a coppery color, which is a really pretty. Okay, yeah, this is cute. Okay, this is really dark though, but it's cute. Back in this palette to use the brown shades. Okay, so now it would be time I'll do my lash line. Okay, I'm just gonna take the same brush and use like the remaining. I'm just using the same shades from MAC. My favorite primer of the moment. I mean, I really like the one from Marc Jacobs. I'll use this one then from Marc Jacobs. I've been really liking my lash primers. If not, I really like the one from L'Oreal, the Lash Paradise, with the primer. Because I don't really wear lashes anymore. I kind of just stopped last year. It was kind of random. I was just like, done. I was done waiting for my lash glue to dry, you know? Yeah, ever since, like, I've discovered so many amazing primers. Like, this one is really good. And ever since I stopped wearing lashes, my lashes grew. And yeah, I mean, I'm still going to wear lashes, like, once in a while. And, uh, oh my gosh, have you watched the Vogue, like, the Khloe Kardashian tutorial for Vogue on Vogue's YouTube? I thought she had like eyelash extensions because her lashes were just so long but I think these are her real lashes like how do you get your lashes to be so long oh my gosh and um, also I just love the background and just it looks so pretty her row was super pretty 
everything i was like i need this background for my videos i need this robe <laughs> um yeah i really enjoyed the video now mascara i'm gonna use this one which i've never used before it's from ysl it's the mascara volume effet fossil now sometimes i ooh, the brush my kind of brush it's like a natural fiber brush sometimes i use like a lot of drugstore in my videos and sometimes i just use a lot of high-end and so yeah <laughs> but i love drugstore as much as i love high-end but it just depends you know what i'm in the mood for i guess yeah i really like these kind of brushes i've been saying that for so long i feel like i've been saying that for years maybe like a year i would love to get a lash lift <laughs> i keep saying it but i just never go to actually get it done i've seen some people do it at home and you know me you know me i love getting like doing some stuff at home so maybe i should buy one of those kits and try it on me See if you can do it at home i really i'm gonna have to add some shadow on the side because it's not the same yeah let me know if you've tried any of these like at home lash lift kits okay this mascara is nice it's like very soft and like the actual like formula seems soft like it's not clumpy and of course i have mascara all over but i saw chloe she also had some mascara on her eyelids i was like ah I am not the only one. I've been loving this eyeliner. It's from Maybelline. It's in brown. It's the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil. I think it's uh, meant for the lids, like to do, like to line your top lid. But I use this in my waterline and it stays. And I do prefer brown because I feel like it, it goes with my eye color more now for lips okay i'm gonna share with you my favorite lip combo of the moment so i just grab an eyeliner i'm gonna grab one that is sharpened i really like the kylie lip liners there's so much hair everywhere um yeah i'm gonna grab the kylie this is in malibu and i'm gonna lightly line my lips then we're gonna grab my favorite lipstick of the moment. It is called, I mean, when I tried this for the first time, I was like, this is, wow, an amazing lipstick. It's from MAC, it's part of their like new collection, their new like nude collection, I think the subculture collection, I don't know. Now it's this, it has melted. Now this is called Oh Yes Baby. It's the prettiest, like it's kind of sheer, it's kind of a frost, but it just makes your lips look... Okay, this looks insane. I'm going to show you what I do. You know, like, when you think about, like, a bronze goddess look, you know? You think about, like, these kind of shimmery, bronzy lips. And this is it. Okay, now, usually, yeah, I haven't worn this in, like, maybe two weeks or something. So, I forgot. Usually, I put on the lipstick and then I do the liner. Because <laughs> it looks a little crazy. But I'm just going to shade my lips. Now I'm gonna add a bit more lipstick. This is like my favorite nude lip. Okay, so I think this brings us to the end. My camera died two times. So I think that means that means it's time to go. Okay, now I just wanna quickly spray my face. So this is the Nyx, bear with me. Now I will show you my outfit, but first I just have to talk about my perfume, okay? This has been my favorite perfume of the moment. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is YSL. This is Mont Paris Floral. Now this smells so good. Now first of all, the bottle is so cute. Now I got this like a month and a half ago and I've already used all of this. Now. I will do an updated perfume collection because I've gotten some amazing perfumes recently but this is just the prettiest it's a very like I feel like this could be a signature scent like this could be your signature scent you know I feel like there are some perfumes that it's only good for like one occasion or like more daytime or nighttime but this is definitely more daytime because it's very like, pretty and feminine but it's definitely 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 yeah i don't know i just really really like this it's sweet but it's floral it's soft it's like classy and pretty but 
yeah anyways i really really love this perfume and so now my dress is from uh princess molly which i'm gonna have a haul my next my next video should be the haul from princess polly so i'm just gonna show you quickly okay so this is the dress now i really really like this neckline you can like tie this how you want and then the sleeves are super cute now the sleeves were like extremely tight so i just like cut the elastic a little bit inside and it fits really well like this is just like a really cute flattering dress now it's super tight here on me <laughs> so um yeah i got this in a us6 it just flows out yeah this is the full dress it's short like really nice ruffles to it yeah i will list it. oh and my necklace now this is coming soon okay this is from chloe and zach if you want to follow us on instagram but this is coming soon this is it this is the look it's not summery at all <laughs> it's like this is for like a summer night out i love the hair so yeah i will list the iron down below chloe 20 um and i will list all the products that i used also i do have a coupon code for princess polly so it's cz20 for 20 percent off now i've been filming for so long it is now 802 do i have time to get to the gym anyways thank you so much for watching this video it was extremely long but I had so much fun chit-chatting with you. Now, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. It would make me super happy. You can also follow me on Instagram at Chloe Zadori. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you very soon in one. Bye! Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Give me some